The following contest is a triple threat match and is for the NXT Women's Championship. Introducing the challenger, the Queen. It's a big time opportunity, Byron, as the title will be on the line here. You're right, Michael. And judging from the response on social media heading into this match, we're likely to see a new champ crowned here tonight. Corey, you would have to think it'll take the performance of a lifetime to walk out of here tonight with the gold around her waist. Yeah, you don't beat the champ unless you go at her with nothing less than your absolute best. And even then, there's a good chance you're going home empty-handed. The one-woman wrecking ball is ready to roll. She has all the potential in the world. And introducing the challenger from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Ripley. One of the most powerful women in all of WWE. Set a new standard of brutality in her match against Tony Storm at NXT UK TakeOver Blackpool. She became the first ever NXT UK Women's Champion. What about you, Byron? What do you think the challenger has to do to be successful here tonight? She's definitely impressed in the weeks leading up to this match. If she can replicate those types of performances, she has a real chance of walking out of here as the winner. Go ahead, Cole. It's Candice Wrestling. And introducing the champion from Anaheim, California, she is the NXT Women's Champion, Candice LeRae. I have finally figured it out. I've figured out what the WWE Universe sees in Candice LeRae. They all feel bad for her. What are you talking about? She it's... is married to that nerd, Johnny oh, Wrestling. Like, just stop, Corey. It's a global pity party. It's all about the NXT Women's Championship. Everyone who has held that title has gone on to create massive waves in sports entertainment. There are no eyes to the future right now, Cole. These ladies have only one thing in mind, and that's being the next NXT Women's Champion. These three women have crossed paths before, but never with so much on the line. Yeah, big match on the Indies can put you on the map. The Mae Young Classic can kickstart a career, but becoming NXT Women's Champion can define a career. But are you guys forgetting that Red's out here competing half-blind? I mean, I realize she was cleared, and she's obviously not 100%. The real story is whether Candice LeRae will be able to stop Rhea Ripley from taking her title. As far as I'm concerned, Red's a non-factor. I would never say that, Corey. In fact, Red's got an extra gear of anger, and I think she might be able to use that to her advantage tonight. Anticipated that attack perfectly. Oh, again! Candice LeRae with a beautiful counter. Yet another counter. It's like they're both somehow one step ahead of each other. Inside the ring now. Incoming. Break your crown. Big punch finds its mark. If 
the champ loses the title here tonight, it won't be from lack of conditioning. Talk about being in phenomenal shape. Oh, what a slam! That hurt! It's starting to come together in a big way. The great ones always explode when they have the chance. All the way for the top! Bomb planted. Just caught flush. Jumping clothesline. What agility. Man, what a slam. Oh, this is dangerous right here. From the top. Here we go. Perched up top. All the way from the top rope. Diamond knee drop. Down with a power bomb. Man. Jumping clothesline. What agility. Authority. Cover for the championship. One. Candice LeRae with an easy kick out. It's going to take more than that to keep her down. Ooh, bullseye. German suplex. But that's not all. She's got something in mind. Wow, she turned that one around. A striking blow. That was just disrespectful. Thrust to the throat. On the face. Pulled back into the hip toss. Risk maneuver in the works from that. Whoa! I need knee drop. Nothing but air on that one. Oh! Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Take more than that. And it's reversed. Paying for that mistake. And she's back in the ring now. Pops. Kick to the midsection. Sunset flip. Wow. Oh, into a power bomb. That is a great reversal. here guys downright treacherous knife edge chop echoing through the arena wait a minute Shoulder up. She kicked out there, but I don't know how much more she can take. Ooh. 
Gets out of the way. And fast. Going to the top high rip. Here we go. Diving knee drop. Cover by the champ. King out of that man. Used up her last bit of energy. And control here with a stomping down. Boom right up button. Textbook vertical suplex. Cover by the challenger. And she's getting fired up here. She's capable of bursts of great activity. The key is sustaining the effort. Kneeling clothesline. Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. New champion, new champion. Well, that was a close call. The size of this girl's heart is simply immeasurable. ready here. This is about over. I love this. Quick tie. Good night. For the win to retain the championship. Two. Two. Oh, kick out. That was miraculous. From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash. For the win to retain the championship. And another kick out. She's still in this one. Oh no, we've got a problem here, guys. one of the gutsiest performances in NXT history. Well, I'll be the first to admit I was wrong about Red. This was no fluke tonight. She earned every ounce of the gold she now holds in her hands. And there you see Red crossing this achievement off her list, one of many significant things she may go on to cross off in her career. A truly inspiring moment. For the first time since they started teaming, Trey and Velveteen Dream make their entrance 
together. Uh, and they've got brand new matching gear. Looking good. Maybe they've turned a corner as far as their team chemistry goes. It's one thing to wear the same gear as your partner, but the real test is going to be in the ring. If these two aren't on the same page when it really matters, the Viking Raiders are going to slaughter them. Look at Trey's moves. He's clearly been studying Velveteen's entrances. Oh, that time would have been better spent watching film on the Viking Raiders. But what's new? This guy's priorities have been out of whack since day one. To be fair, Corey, Velveteen Dream is known for his eccentric entrances, but always delivers when the bell rings. So why can't Trey do the same thing? Oh, that's easy. He doesn't have the same level of natural talent that Velveteen has. And besides, look at this guy. He looks like a goof out here trying to do Velveteen's mannerisms. If you're going to put that much effort into your entrance, at least get your own style. Uh, he's just trying to be a good teammate. It's all in good fun. Well, if this is your idea of fun, then that explains a lot. Nonetheless, these two have had an unexpected and impressive run to make it here to the finals. It kind of reminds me of last year when Ricochet and Aleister Black were a somewhat unlikely pairing, and they went on to win the entire tournament. We could see a similar outcome tonight. Uh, highly unlikely. The Viking Raiders have teamed thousands of times all over the world while Trey and Velveteen barely know each other. You can't overstate that kind of advantage. I, I hear you, but look at these synchronized moves. I'm telling you, these two are ready. As this Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic final match gets underway, both of these teams look to join a prestigious group of previous winners. Yeah, the first tournament in 2015 included a star-studded field that was won by the team of Samoa Joe and Finn Balor. That's right. Other teams that have their names etched on the trophy include the Authors of Pain and the Undisputed Era. Look, I'm sorry, but the team of Trey and Velveteen Dream doesn't belong among the names you mentioned. The Viking Raiders, however, fit quite nicely. Well, before we just go hand out a trophy to anyone, let's see what happens in this match. Man. Sit out, Powerbomb! He has become relentless at this point. I don't know where he gets the energy, but it seems endless right now. A lot of pride on the line here in this tag team encounter, but only two of these competitors will end up getting what they came for. Win gets the tag. Hot red suplex, making it look easy. the impact. Oh! Again! Guys, at the risk of sounding like an amateur psychologist, it seems pretty clear that Velveteen Dream absolutely thrives on attention. Nah, don't worry. You just sound like an amateur commentator. I think we're about to see a high-risk move. From All the way for the top! Down with force! He's on his heels a bit now. Why he's still in the match at this point is beyond me, guys. Maybe he forgot it's a tag team match. I don't know. There's got to be some explanation. No, oh, that's not right. Somebody do something about that. Corey, I'd agree with Byron's statement that Velveteen Dream is an attention seeker. I mean, why else wear all the frilled shirts and jeweled outfits? Hmm, why else? How about because he's a fashion icon? Anyway, the only thing that matters is you, what you do in the ring. And let me tell you, Velveteen Dream can do pretty much anything. Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. Dream Valley Driver! 
and Velveteen Dream tags Trey. It actually looks like he wants Trey to go to the top rope and hit the purple Rainmaker. I told you they're on the same page now. What the hell? No, no, no. Finally, Velveteen Dream has come to his senses. Velveteen Dream has essentially sacrificed Trey to their opponents. He has no chance. It's over. just happened. Well, face it, guys. The better team won just like I thought they would. And maybe we're going to get an explanation from Velveteen Dream. This is on you, partner. You called the Dream out, and you questioned the Dream's authenticity. But the Dream never needed some repulsive trophy for validation. The Dream already knew that there was only one Dream, and that is the Velveteen Dream. At one point, I considered letting you win this thing because the Dream felt sorry for your desperate need for success. But then, you repeatedly stole the Dream's spotlight, leeching off the Dream's moves, the Dream's look, and anything else you can get your hands on. But it's like the saying goes, Imitation is the sincerest form of battery. Oh no, uh, are those handcuffs? Trade of the ropes, just like how this all started. This is getting ugly. The man's helpless. We need someone to put an end to this right now. Look, I'm by no means advocating what's happening, but you have to admit, Trey brought this upon himself. The moment he mentioned Velveteen Dream's name, he was asking for trouble. Uh, pardon me, Red, Trey, you both have huge matches tonight. Do you have a second to comment? No. Yeah, we do. So Candice LeRae has invoked her rematch clause in an Iron Woman match. Now, after everything you've been through, are you ready for your first NXT women's title defense? Well, considering I'll actually be able to see this time, I think I'm more than ready. Trey, you are going to face Velveteen Dream in the first ever No DQ Spotlight match, where in order to win, you must steal your opponent's finishing move. Now, how have you prepared for this unique stipulation? I haven't had to. I've used his purple Rainmaker before, but he's never used my finisher. And on top of that, I might have another trick or two up my sleeve, because you never know when you might need it.
I might have taken you lightly in our last match because you were injured, but I won't make that mistake tonight. If I was able to beat two opponents with only one good eye, what do you think is going to happen when I only have one opponent and my vision back? I think you'll be able to get a real good look at me standing over you with the title back where it belongs. <laughs> Sweet fanny pack. Thanks. I was kidding. Anyway, what were you talking about having a trick up your sleeve? Well, actually, it's more like a trick down my pants. That sounds incredibly creepy. Yeah, I hear it now. Uh, let me give you a sneak peek. Still creepy. Okay, I should rephrase. One of my tricks is I'm gonna wear a special outfit to get in Velveteen's head like he does to his opponents. There's three options I'm considering. Which one should I go with? Thanks for your help with that. I'm gonna need every little advantage I can get to defeat him. Look, it's Velveteen Trey. He's even got a fanny pack. We've seen Velveteen Dream wear unique outfits in an effort to get inside his opponent's heads. And now it appears Trey has borrowed a page from Velveteen's playbook. Uh, so what else is new? He's been stealing from Velveteen's playbook for the last month. That's how they ended up here tonight. It's a nice touch, but I think Trey's going to need to do a whole lot more to rattle Velveteen. I don't know about that. He looks like he might be rattled right now. I'd chalk that up to pure annoyance more than anything else. How can you tell the difference? After years of putting up with you, I'm pretty much an expert on the subject. Well, the time for psychological warfare is over. Let's find out who will prevail in this unprecedented first ever spotlight match. This no disqualification spotlight match came about when Velveteen Dream felt Trey was, quote, stealing the spotlight from him when they were partners in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Classic. It puts both men in a unique situation. There are no pinfalls or submissions. The only way to win the match is by using your opponent's finishing move. Velveteen Dream might be unconventional, but he's also one of the most gifted athletes in sports entertainment. I'm sure he'll handle himself just fine under these conditions. Attacking the knee. He's executing on his plan perfectly. Well, he's tapped into a power source I wasn't sure he had. See if he can keep it going. Powerbomb! You know, for somebody who hasn't been in the business all that long, I'd say Velveteen Dream sure does have a high opinion of himself. It's almost as if he looks down at the rest of the roster. Kick right to the gut. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. He planned for this and could still rally.
to Michael's point about Velveteen Dream's disdain for the locker room, it's no secret that the superstar he detests the most are those who first made a name for themselves on the independent scene. He's stuck in the corner now. Oh. Kick right to the midsection. Oh, and a knee. Lights out. Double axe handle smash. Dream just barely got out of the way. Lutez press. Producing a trampling. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no count outs. If you ask me, guys, matches like this where there are essentially no rules are one giant free-for-all where absolutely anything can happen. Ooh! Finds a way to reverse. Oh, again! I like the way you describe this match, Byron. It's one giant free-for-all. And while it's exciting to watch, it's absolute torture on these superstars. It is cold. Unfortunately, matches like this usually result in injury. Sometimes serious injury. What a counter! Another amazing singles contest. These two never cease to entertain the WWE Universe. Bam! Suplex! Velveteen Dream with the reversal. It's only a matter of time before he hits Trey's finisher. Where's Velveteen going? Oh no. Are those handcuffs? Not again. It appears we're going to have a repeat of what happened after the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Final. And guys, keep in mind this match is no disqualification. So this is perfectly legal. It might be legal, but it's clear Velveteen Dream's priority isn't winning the match. It's injuring Trey, possibly even ending his career. Hey, this is the match Trey signed up for. He wanted the spotlight. Well, now he's got it. Wait a minute, what's Trey doing? He had a key hidden in his tights. He's unlocking the handcuffs and Velveteen Dream has no idea. This goes back to their very first encounter when Trey handcuffed himself to the ropes and Velveteen had a key. Somehow, Trey actually learned something. Velveteen still has no clue that Trey is free. Velveteen Dream. I never thought I'd see that happen. And now Trey with the steel chair. This is a huge turning point in this match. Trey has now gained complete control over Velveteen Dream. Starting to struggle here. The lack of rules has exposed him to some real punishment. He lands the chair again. He's borderline barbaric tonight, guys. Again. Hey, it seems to be working for him. He continues to press forward. We'll see how long his stamina can last. Now that's not right. 
Somebody do something about that. Boom, what impact. This match is brutality starting to show on him. He's lost much of his early confidence. This is a big risk. Will it pay off? Missile drop kick finds its mark. Elbow smash! In a weakened state here, guys. In the face. Boom! What a forearm. KO punch. Oof. In a bad way here, guys. Knife edge chop. A striking blow. Oof. Treading all over their opponent. Look at the hot Bangasur. Now oh, that's not right. Somebody do something about that. Oh, and he lands it. Really relying on that tonight. He's expressing pain now. He'll think twice before entering another Extreme Rules match. Velveteen Dream are brawling at ringside. What's Trey doing with that fanny pack? And Trey nails Velveteen Dream with it. Velveteen's out cold. What, what the heck was inside that thing? There's your answer. Real honorable, Trey. Now you said it yourself. This match is no disqualification, so that was perfectly legal. Oh, right up there. Not again. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. What for? Dream just barely got out of the way. Devastating elbow. Oh, look at that. Scoot. Tough spot to be in. He's got him up on his shoulders. Only fireman's carry. for the second rope. Driving down. Oh, oh, what a forearm. He's definitely being the aggressor here. Whoa, he picked up steam and shows no signs of letting up. for the spotlight. Well, after this huge victory over Velveteen Dream, he's now earned it. I don't think it was his plan from the beginning, but it certainly worked out in his favor. Hold on. 
on. Maybe Velveteen Dream isn't ready to concede the spotlight just yet. He's got that loaded fanny pack that Trey used earlier. What are we witnessing? Is this some kind of strange sign of respect from Velveteen Dream? It's almost like he's putting the championship around the Trey's waist. That was certainly bizarre, but nonetheless a huge win for Trey tonight. The following contest is an Iron Woman match and is for the NXT Women's Championship. Introducing the champion, she is the NXT Women's Champion, the Queen. A huge match for these women as the title is on the line here tonight. Considering the career path of the superstars who have held the NXT Women's Championship, the importance of this match extends to well beyond tonight. It's Candice Wrestling! And introducing the challenger from Anaheim, California, Candice LeRae! You know, Candice is a professional baker, so I wonder if her opponents can smell what the LeRae is cooking. <laughs> oh my God, Byron, just what I think, you couldn't possibly be any dumber. You go and say something like that and totally proved me wrong. I thought it was good. Well, she certainly has her work cut out for her. And Byron, tell me, what do you think of her chances here tonight? Well, given how dominant the champs looked as of late, I have to say that I'm not wild about her chances here tonight. But hey, crazy things have happened. We're about to see which woman rules the landscape around here. Guys, in Red's short reign as NXT Women's Champion, she's already successfully defended her championship on several occasions, but never in a match like this. Putting her title on the line in an Iron Woman match is essentially like defending it multiple times in one night with no break in between. It can be extremely taxing, to say the least. Kind of like having to do commentary with you, Saxton. That is a great reversal. No, another reversal. Neither one of them are willing to give an inch here. to the torso here. You eliminate, she's really taking it to her core here. And you can't argue with the results. She's ready for, oh, look out. Attacking the core now. Yeah, without your core, she's really taking it to her core here. And you can't argue with the results. Big time slam. Vicious. The challenger's looking shaken. From what I'm told, she trained harder than ever for this match. But what this shows right here is something I've long suspected. She's really taking it to her core here. And you can't argue with the results. 
Oh, look, look, elbow, elbows off the chest. Candice LeRae with a beautiful counter. Whoa, it's another reversal. Bring it out into the upper body. And it's targeted attack. She's really taking it to her core here. And you can't argue with the results. Oh my god, just assaulting the torso here. Clearly part of the game plan, Michael. This is gonna be big. Perched up top. She's really taking it to her core here. And you can't argue with the results. the core now. Yeah, without your core, Michael, you are essentially useless. Here she goes again. From the top! She's really taking it to her core here. And you can't argue with the results. Just assaulting the torso here. Clearly part of the game plan, Michael. She's going after her midsection again. And can you blame her? They practically have the target on her at this point. She's not done yet. Taking it to the midsection. And these attacks to the core are clearly having an effect here, Cole. One more time. Look out! Diving knee drop! The challenger's hopes are slipping away. Guys, she's got nothing left. I have no idea how she's going to make it through the rest of this match. She's going after her midsection. And here's the pin title on the line. Here we go. Oh, how resilient was that? I'm impressed. Going it after the upper body. And it's targeted attacks like this that put people on shelves for a very long time. She's really taking it to her core here. And you can't argue with the results. Just assaulting the torso here. Clearly part of the game plan, Michael. She's going after her midsection. And the champion into the cover! I thought that was it. Very admirable performance here, but you have to want... Going it after the upper body. And it's targeting... She's going after her midsection again. And can you blame her? It practically has a target on it at this point. The champ to the top turnbuckle. Perched up top. Back to the torso here. You eliminate the core. This is a great move. Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. section again. And can you blame her? It practically has a target on it at this point. Taking it to the midsection. And these attacks to the core are clearly having an effect here, Cole. She's really taking it to her core here. And you can't argue with the results. Attacking the core now. Yeah, without your core, Michael, you are essentially useless. Looks like the champ is going to retain. I'm not sure Candace is going to be able to continue. This is amazing. She's going after her midsection again. And can you blame her? It practically has a target on it at this point. Oh, that's the impact. Gets out of there in a hurry. She's got to remember to get back in the ring before the referee's 10 count. to the midsection. These attacks to the core. For the win to retain the championship! What's it going to take to keep her down? She's not done yet, but you have to believe that she's still in all sorts of trouble here. She's ready for something big. Perched up top.
time. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. No, that may be the closest I've seen a referee's hand come to hitting three. Pow, what a shot. She is just dominant right now. She's definitely energized, but she better make sure she saves something for later. The champ to the top turnbuckle. All the way for the top. Uh-oh. What a hurrah. Hard for the 
chance to fight back from this. At this point, each second on the clock has to feel like a minute to her. I mean, she's getting absolutely destroyed. gentlemen when you get a one-on-one -on -one match like that you hate to see one of them come up short but that's just the harsh reality of it